so let's just jump right into it. Uh, first thing that I don't give a shit about is Kim Kardashian's butt. So uh, there was a photo shoot uh, about a week ago or so where Kim Kardashian was on the cover of some magazine and she's like showing her ass, you know, and it like caused this major like freaking, you know, everybody went, ooh, how racy and whatever. And it's like, right. Fucking stupid. I mean, the thing is, it's, it's first off, it's bullshit because it's not racy. You know, it's like Kim Kardashian showed her ass, big fucking deal. I mean, let's not forget what, you know, I mean, because cause who the fuck is Kim Kardashian actually? Like, what is she famous for, you know? She's not like an actress, right? She's not a singer. She's not even, she doesn't, you know, she doesn't, what does she do? I mean, she's a fucking, you know, socialite reality TV star. Like, yeah, okay. Reality TV, my ass, right? I mean, she doesn't do shit. She's like, I mean, she got her start as like a fucking closet organizer for Paris Hilton. I mean, she's she's nobody, you know. She got famous because she had sex with like a famous rapper. Like, that's what she does, dude. You know, a fucking sex tape. She bones people, you know, famous people. Like, that's her fucking talent. I mean, fuck Kim Kardashian. You know, secondly, I mean, it's like, oh, she, like, how presumptuous that sounds. Kim Kardashian broke the internet. Get the fuck out of here, dude. It's like, she didn't break shit, you know. I don't know. I mean, I don't even really think she's that attractive, to be honest. You know, she's just so fucking fake looking. It's like, eh, whatever. Not my thing. But anyway, um, so, yeah, fuck Kim Kardashian. Uh, number two, um, communists. I just don't care about communists and communism. Um, I think at this point it's pretty safe to say that communism has been proven to be, you know, a, an ineffectual um, economic system, you know. There's not really very many countries left in the, in the world that actually follow it, you know. I mean, can you even name any? Like, I don't know, uh, Cuba maybe, <laughs> right? Um, China certainly isn't communist, not really, you know, not when you actually get down to it. You know, they're more freaking capitalist, right? But, uh, I don't know, I mean, and then the people who actually still believe in it, you know, who still are, we never really tried real communism and whatever, it's like, whatever, dude, I mean, I don't know, they're kind of pathetic, you know what I mean, it's it's sort of like, I don't know, they're, they're just very, they're people who, like, you know, have never really, like, had to face the real world, you know, is what it seems to me, like, they, and they're like in, they're like in denial, you know. Um, I mean, if you really think about it, you know, there's only one economic system out there, right? It's, it's not even, it's not communism, it's not even like capitalism, you know? It's more of, um, I don't, I'm not even really sure what it is, you know, what the official term for it is. I guess it would be like an, you know, oligarchy type system. I mean, there really is only one when you think about, you know, on the grand overall. In, in every country on earth it's, it's uh, rich people own everything you know of and everyone else you know either directly or indirectly works according you know to their design and you know either directly or indirectly works under under their you know and, and enriches them that's kind of how it is in every country on earth you know it's certainly like that in the United States and in Europe and in China and in you know but even places like, you know, North Korea, I mean, that's pretty obvious there. Africa, I mean, it's it's everywhere, you know, that's that's really, that's it, you know, it's, it's sort of like a, a um, you know, capitalism for the upper 1%. That's kind of what it's like everywhere on earth, you know. Um, so, I mean, yeah, I applaud people who want to change the world and all that shit and want people to be equal and all that crap, but... You know, let's be realistic here. You know, it's it's not it's not going to change. You know, no matter how much you go out and you protest and all that shit, it's never going to fucking change. The best we can do, I think, you know, at this point, the best we're ever going to get is to, um, through government, and able to, um, you know, put in basic protections for people to guarantee quality of life. You know, healthcare. Uh, you know, um, labor protections, things like that. You know, minimum wage and and social safety nets and social security, that kind of thing, you know, because, I mean, I got no problem with people being rich, you know, I just, I have a problem when people are rich and everybody is dirt fucking poor, you know, and I think that the only way that we can effectively hedge against that upper 1% is by using the law, you know, that's really it, you know, 
I don't know. Um, so yeah, communism, you know, it, it just doesn't, you know, it, it just, I just don't give a shit about it. And people who claim to be communists, they're just like, they're in denial, dude. I'm sorry. Uh, what else? Um, some other shit. Uh, there was the, uh, um, the European Union landed a lander on a comet, um, a little while ago, which was really cool. And the guy who was the project manager for that team who landed the uh, probe on the comet wore a shirt with some, like, he wore, like, a sexist shirt that had, like, naked ladies on it. And a bunch of feminists kind of lost their shit over that. <laughs> I just, you know, somebody wanted me to make a video over that. And it's like, well, what am I going to say about it? Except, you know, to tell the feminists to go fuck themselves. I mean, that's really it. Uh, you know, what else can you possibly say about that? You know, like... Like, it's wrong, and they shouldn't be caring about what they... Well, obviously. I mean, that's... Everybody else has already said everything that I could even think to say about it, you know. I mean, I guess I can add in some shit, like, as soon as, you know, feminism produces a, a team of scientists that can launch a probe and land it on a comet, <laughs> then they can talk, you know. And then if they want to wear, like, a, the, the project manager wants to wear a shirt where it's, like, a bunch of, like, men being slaves or something, getting their dicks chopped off with, like, broken broken bottles or something then you know then you know maybe we can talk but up until that point it's just sort of like i don't know i just i just don't care i, I don't really care you know it's, it seems like when you hear something like that and it's like oh how these stupid feminists it's a it's a story to demonize people you know because obviously you know um most people in the world are not going to give a shit what kind of, like, shirt this guy wears, you know? There's only, like, a very small, small segment of even people who consider themselves feminists who even really cared. So when something like this comes up, it's just an opportunity to pile on the feminists and, like, you know, look at these stupid fucking feminists and look how dumb they are for, for pointing this shit out. You know, I don't, I don't know. It's just, it's dumb. It's dumb to even, like, I don't know, I feel dumb even commenting on it, you know? So, I don't care. Uh, some other shit. Um, Bill Cosby's uh, sexual allegations. Uh, I had no idea about this, but apparently it's happened in the past where Bill Cosby is, like, you know, turned into, like, a, some kind of fucking crazy-ass rapist for some reason. Like, drugging women and stuff like that. And, uh, shit, that's crazy. I had no idea. Um, I'm always kind of, you know... Whenever I hear something like this, I'm always a little leery of believing the initial reports, you know. And uh, so at first I kind of thought it was bullshit. And I'll tell you why. Because when you're rich and famous, right, you don't have to rape anybody, okay? No matter, It doesn't matter what you look like, okay? You could be some hideous, disgusting, fat-ass, like, chud, you know? You could be, like, fucking... I don't know, John Candy or some shit. I'm trying to think of some, like, really fat celebrity. I, I don't know. So you could be, like, a really big, fat, ugly guy. And if you're rich and you're on TV and in movies and stuff, you're still going to get laid. You know, because you just have to be famous. And women are going to want to have sex with you. You know, some women will, at least. Not all of them. But obviously some women are going to be like, I want to have sex with a famous person. You know? I mean, that's how somebody like Patton Oswald can, like, get married to an incredibly attractive woman, <laughs> okay? And he even, you know, says that himself in one of his comedy acts, you know, I'm on basic cable, I get laid, right? So, like, so it kind of blows me away when you hear, like, a celebrity rape someone. It's like, he didn't fucking have to rape, he didn't have to, okay? Bill Cosby probably could have got as much as he wanted, you know, as much, as many women as he wanted to, just because of the fact that he's, you know, famous, and he, he was on TV, and this was, like, during his fucking primetime, you know, Cosby show years, right? But then, then you start seeing, like, you know, I guess, what was it, like, 14, 13, 14 different women came out and said the same thing, then it started, starts kind of getting a little crazy, it's like, okay, you know, if it was one, then I might believe that it was horseshit. You know, 14, that's a different story. So, I don't know why, though. I don't know why he would have to drug people to have sex with them. <laughs> okay. I mean, shit. But, what are you gonna do? But, you know, I, I don't even know why, you know, what am I gonna say about this? It's like, they make a video about Bill Cosby. What do you want me to say about it? You know? I don't know. Fucking, I guess I'll just think twice when I go and, like, buy Jello pudding pops going forward, I guess. But, whatever. <laughs> Uh, one more thing and then I want to wrap this up. 
Uh, butthurt fanboys. Okay, I got no more fucking patience for butthurt fanboys anymore. Uh, so there are certain sci-fi fantasy franchises out there um, that have been around very long. Things like, you know, Star Wars, X-Men, you know, Marvel and DC Comics, Star Trek, Godzilla, and so on. And they've been along for a long time, and as they've been along so long, they've gained this massive following, you know, legions of followers. And so what happens is that whenever something new comes out, that has to do with these franchises, you know, be it a new movie or a video game or whatever, a large portion of said followers of the franchise is just insta instantly going to, like, shit all over it, no matter, like, what it is, right? And it happens every fucking time. It's happened just right now with a Star Wars trailer that just came out. It happened when the new Star Trek movies, you know, J.J. Abrams made the new Star Trek movies, uh, it happens every time another, you know, X-Men or another Marvel movie comes out. You know, people go, oh, it's going to suck, it's going to be lame, it's not going to be as good as the stuff that it came out when I was a kid or whatever. And, you know, it's like, I don't know, I got no patience for these fucking people. I mean, the thing is, sometimes this even happens, like, months or years before the new movie is even fucking released. I mean, there's people saying that the, the Star Wars trailer is horrible and it's going to be the worst movie ever, and it's a goddamn teaser trailer that shows like a minute and it's not even footage that probably won't even end up in the movie anyway and they call it a teaser trailer you know because it's it might not even be the stuff that is like in the fucking movie the same thing happened when the godzilla trailer came out you know people are like he looks like shit and that big you know ant thing with all the legs looks stupid and then the fucking the ant thing you know the caterpillar thing wasn't even in the fucking movie you know it's like i don't know I mean, there was a movie, like, a few years ago, there was a, a movie called Predators that came out, which I thought was good, you know, um, and there was a board that I used to, pl uh, that I used to post at called Club Tokyo, which is, uh, um, you know, has to do with mainly toys, but anyway, and so, you know, this exact same thing happened, right, as soon as the trailer came up, people just start fucking trolling, and then everybody starts, you know, screaming, it's gonna suck, and it's lame, and aliens and predator, whatever, it looks stupid, and, you know, I just, I don't know, I mean, people just screaming on it, you know, we don't need a new predator movie, and it's just this big waste of fucking time, you know, big waste of time, like, just be happy that something is, you know, the stuff that you like is continuing to be made, you know, you know, it's and every time you see just something, you know, everyone has to fucking complain, you know, Captain America's suit looks stupid, and, you know, Spider-Man doesn't have the web shooters, or, you know, fucking Godzilla is too fat, or whatever, it's just, just shut the fuck up, God, I can't have it, I mean, and here's the thing, here's the thing, is that when the movie comes out, or the, the game comes out, or, you know, whatever, everybody who is complaining, they go to see it anyway, <laughs> okay? Everyone who is bitching and moaning and saying, this is going to be the stupidest thing ever, I'm not going to see it, they go and fucking see it, and then the movie makes, you know, a billion dollars, right? So all the people that just spent all the last, like, three months or whatever tearing the fucking thing apart, saying it was going to suck, saying it was going to be horrible, they're the first fucking one in line to go see it, and it's, it's pathetic. It's like, you know, if you don't want to see it, then don't see it. I mean, I don't know. It just... You know, the, the, here's the thing, is that you're fucking, when you go on the internet and you start complaining about your, you know, franchise or whatever, your opinion doesn't matter, all right? Nobody in Hollywood is going out and reading your opinion and saying, hey, we should change the movie because of XYZ, you know, some dipshit on a fucking forum somewhere said it was stupid. Nobody cares, all right? They're just, all that really matters is how much money is it going to make, you know? And if it makes movie, if it makes money, they'll they'll put out another one, you know? It could be the biggest piece of shit of all time, you know? It could be, like, the Transformers movie, which I think is, like, the biggest piece of shit of all time. They made four of those fucking movies, right? Because each one makes a bazillion dollars, right? And then there could be one that's, like, really, really awesome, and nobody goes and sees it, and that's it, you know? Uh, I don't know. I mean, it's just, like... I don't know. It's just, just wait till the movie comes out before you, like, criticize it, okay? And then... I got no patience for that shit anymore. I don't know. Fucking... I hate fanboys. Fuck fanboys. In fact, I think I'm going to make an entire video just called Fuck Fanboys. I don't know. Adios, folks.